if John was and I'm a crossbench, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, like uh, Baroness Matthew and a doctor, um, has NICE, the National Institute for Clinical Excellence, produced any guidelines on this topic? And if not, why not? Well, Jane can probably answer that better than I do. Um, the <coughs> They produced guidelines in 2003, their antenatal care guidelines, that was to, to look at screening amongst other things. And the issue about group scrap screening was looked at then. Um, since then, there have been various iterations and it's been revisited and updated. But the section on group scrap hasn't been looked at at all. Um, the, there will be some guidelines being issued um, uh, in August. Uh, which are uh, really paediatric guidelines looking at using antibiotics for treatment um, and to a lesser extent prevention of, uh, of bacterial infections in babies. And that will be, that will be great, that will be, be a big step forward because there isn't, um, there isn't sort of quality expert uh, national guidelines on that, so that will be a step forward. But unfortunately, because the antenatal care guideline had looked at the issue of screening, that antibiotics for neonatal infection weren't the group weren't allowed to look at screening as well. You've got to wait until uh, it can be picked up by NICE. And uh, the last time that the that NICE looked at their antenatal care guideline, we and actually quite a lot of other stakeholders went, you know, hey it's time to be looking to the issue of group B strep screening, but for whatever reason, it, it wasn't chosen to be the focus. The reason I ask is because many years ago, when I was being a medicine in Newcastle, I appointed the youngest professor in the medical faculty called Michael Rawlins, mm -hmm. who of course is the chairman of NICE, uh, uh, for the moment, not for much longer. He's also a member of my college club. I might have a word. <laughs> <laughs>